guys welcome back to my channel so I want to do a late night read see what spirit has to say for the beautiful collective that's watching me tonight so thank you guys for all the participation all the likes comments subscriptions if you haven't already smash the like hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content okay guys so let's dive in and see what spirit has to say for this late night read spirit guides ancestors oracles I call you in and I ask for a clear precise channel message from our beautiful collective remember guys to put yourself where you belong I could be saying it he it could be a she I could be saying they it could be you please put yourself where you belong don't shoot the messenger spirit guides I ask for protection while I channel this message and anything other than the highest white light spirit guides I ask you to close that door now please and thank you what are we tapping into for this late night read guys what's going on here Hey, Flipper, got the Five of Cups. Somebody is uh, feeling left out, like they can't cross the bridge to get to the castle where you're sitting. They're dwelling too much on the third parties. All they need to do is go into their emotions and follow their heart. But the chariot is in reverse because somebody is dwelling on the third parties. The shoulda, coulda, woulda, the maybes, the what ifs. It's like that analysis paralysis. The more that they think about it, the more stuck they are. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting this back in and we're going to find out what is going on here. Okay, remember, this could be your story. This could be somebody around you. This could be somebody playing in your energy that you know nothing about. Okay, guys, one, four, one on my clock. Spirit, what are we tapping into? Bottom of the deck, it's the strength in reverse. Somebody has their tail between their legs. It's as though they don't have the confidence. Maybe they're over uh, controlling, very, very ego driven this and and that's why somebody is dwelling on these third parties they can't really get themselves together to really cross that bridge to go to castle what's going on here show me show me show me spirit guys what am i tapping into for this late night tea two of swords in reverse somebody is no longer blinded now we have to understand that when we do really see it is so so hard to unsee afterwards and it gets desolate it gets like you you're like holy fuck like did i just like did i just believe that for so long it's kind of energy okay because we do we end up looking around and what we believed was not real it's the wheel of fortune in reverse somebody is seeing oh it's in the upright <laughs> you're getting out of the blindfold no matter which situation has, whatever has happened in the past, you're seeing that this Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. You have the opportunity to see the delusions, the delays for what it is, and have this good luck come in. Then there's a lot of karma going on. And somebody just, whether this is you or somebody around you, you just feel like left out a little bit. Three of Wands. It's in reverse. It's like somebody is wants to return from their travels, wants to come and speak to you about something, wants to, it says move home. Take it as it resonates, guys, okay? Just clarification, look at my cards. Yo, somebody wants you to put down their guard, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to be so fucking defensive because they're coming with the four of wands, some kind of relationship, some kind of partnership, some kind of equilibrium, guys. If you're not looking for this, it's coming. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so I don't know what to say, but you're going to have to get out of this blindfold. You're going to have to escape from the lies because the lies are being exposed. Everything that you thought was in the dark and was going to stay, well, it's, it's being seen. And somebody is like got their tail between their legs and like, what the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to get there? There is so far. Like I said, analysis paralysis. Wow. Like I said, analysis paralysis, mental motherfucking entrapment. Ooh, this is hurting somebody. That when they, when they finally see the truth, put them right into a mental entrapment because now they're like, thinking over and over and over like how do i bring this good luck back into my life because the tower's in reverse like i inevitably avoided something for so fucking long and now it hurts so bad this is what happens 
when we don't stand up for who we are and what we want, then later on down the line, we do sing that shoulda, coulda, woulda. So we sit in that five of so five of cups, like what could I have done? Not a motherfucking thing. It was it was there to teach us a lesson, whether we fucking deserved it or not, or whether we wanted it or not. It's irrelevant. Now it's time to put down your guard, end cycles, and really move on to something new. That's why the world is there. It's talking about karmic completions. We got to go through this trial and error and fall on our face and, you know, love people and lose people. It is what it is, guys. It's the cycle of life. King of Pentacles with the devil. Now, somebody may be very, very, very fucking obsessed with you. Or they could be very codependent on uh, material value. Somebody could have been hiding behind material value. Or they could, you could be ending a cycle with this very materialistic person who is very abusive. Okay? Or addicted to something. This person is in a mental entrapment. And they're pissed the fuck off. They have a little bit of a learning disability. And that's why the sun is in reverse. They're in a depression. Because they don't know how to cross that, that bridge. To get to what they want. Or to go talk to the people they want. Or to get the opportunities they want. Do you see what I mean? They're just... They're allowing to... They're, they're taking whatever's coming to them. And people know this. So people are using their insecurities and their ego to use them. Like temperance angel to put them in a very imbalanced situation and now they see the truth they see the desolate situation that they're in you've seen the desolate situation that you're in and unless you want to be like this very imbalanced we have to learn to walk away now when we walk away it's not to teach somebody else a lesson it's because we fucking learned a lesson and we no longer want to play that cycle anymore <sighs> this king of pentacles is um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it does not have to be, is depressed, somebody wants to start something with you, could be an opportunity, a job, they don't know how to ask you to work with them, fuck, I'm good at, <laughs> I'm telling you my downloads, that's why I get so thirsty when I'm channeling, because they literally come right through me, right, okay, well, the three of pentacles just came out, like I said, somebody wants to work with you, but because of their imbalanced energies internally, they're scared that you're not going to work with them. Not realizing that, you know, just because they are the way they are does not that mean that that affects you. It's just we pick and choose our battles wisely. Now somebody just needs to have the courage to persevere to get what they want. Anything else, Spirit Guides? Anything else? No? All right, let's switch the deck, okay? the king of cups somebody is emotionally unstable they're losing their motherfucking mind because they lost out on the motherfucking gift the ace of pentacles you are an ace of pentacles to somebody you have to see just how fucking valuable you are and this person doesn't see how valuable they are so then inevitably they think they lost somebody when really they didn't this is just a loss of self remember rejection is protection so if people reject you it's only for your protection because they they're just not they're not good for you they're you're not ready for them they're not ready for you take it as it resonates put yourself where the fuck you belong but at the end of the day somebody is lacking makes them feel like they can't like they really lost the stars the star in reverse they're depressed or if they feel a little bit hopeless when really they just need to reach the two they need to reach the stars when i say reach the stars i mean reach internally and then you will see just how valuable you are. But somebody feels like they lost their star, the most valuable player on earth. The King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Take it as it resonates with this King of Cups, male or female, it's irrelevant. They're in some kind of uh, relationship of convenience or some kind of toxic cycle that they're having a hard time to get out of this could be family this could be a, a, an actual like partnership relationship take it as it resonates but somebody is going against the status quo so they could even be religious but the thing is their religious beliefs are very dark but they use scripture to cover that up like yeah that's the moon in reverse bitch uh, under this fucking full moon in pisces it is having everybody wake up with their intuition okay that's what this 
this Pisces full moon talks about is tapping into that intuition and going with what you feel, getting the channels, getting the download. Like me, I am a channel. I am a, a conduit for these energies so that they can speak to you. At the same, that's why a lot of the times I don't even remember what I'm saying when I'm doing these readings. So when I rewatch it, I'm like, holy fuck, I make myself laugh because it's not really me, it's the ancestors. I really do channel 90% of my fucking readings. And that's what is being seen. Everybody's illusions are breaking and seeing just how powerful you are, but you're also seeing because of the illusions, because of how powerful you are, you're getting to see the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Empress. The high priestess in reverse energies so these very dark malicious high priestess or high priest it could be a male or a female doesn't matter but it's whoever is living in this patriotic system does not want you to to be seen as a goddess it's the rise of the goddess the rise of the, the divine masculine divine feminine god and goddesses and this is why a lot of people they um sleep on you because of the fact that they want you to feel insecure. So then this way you don't know who you truly are. <laughs> but it, everything is being seen. And there's that five of motherfucking cups. Again, I'm telling you, heart of the deck, somebody is feeling like, how the fuck do I cross this, this threshold to get to that castle where this fucking... This queen is sitting. <laughs> Cheers to that, guys. These guys are valuable, but somebody... Friends, family, acquaintances, jobs, whatever this is, guys, whoever this is, all of the fucking above, they're feeling some kind of way because they should have listened to you and your intuition because you are motherfucking who you say you are. And that's what's coming out. <laughs> Everything that was in the dark. And people are tapping into their intuition and you've guided a lot of people to do so. So keep pushing forward. Remember what I teach you, teach somebody else, okay? Because it's each one, teach one, reach one, and there is no competition. So you could be better than me tomorrow. Do you see how that works? And I have absolutely no competition with you. I'm going to encourage you. Just as long as you're being your own authentic self. You're not trying to be somebody else. I'm going to fucking inspire you and believe me. I saw real spiritualists, real impacts, real seers. We see when somebody is copying, and we're not going to validate you because that's what you want. So keep trying. Okay, so let's get the Alice in Wonderland deck, and let's go down the rabbit hole and get some clarity, okay? So we got 1222 on my clock, okay? Check those angel numbers always, okay? Spirit guides, right on my lap is manage to be glad. So whatever falls on your fucking lap, Good, bad, whatever, you just manage to be glad. You find the solutions in the situation. You look at the sunset. You know, you could have fucking the whole world falling around you, but you find like the littlest thing, a butterfly, a beautiful fucking wildflower. You know, the sky, the way it looks, the way the moon is. You really do take the time to breathe in the nature, to listen to yourself, to be grounded, to stay grounded, understanding that nature will give you everything you need and that nature is our greatest teacher. So if you're ever feeling alone, just go sit with nature. Everything's alive and everything moves. You're never alone. You're never really alone. You're sitting there, there's a plant, there, there's a, a bug, an ant, something. It's alive, it's there. So remember that, okay? Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. <laughs> That's what, what's called manifesting. It's called alchemy. Transmuting the darkness around you and using that as power so when you do see something beautiful, you magnetize that beauty and then inevitably it attracts more beauty towards you because it's the same way as magnetizing that negativity. Inevitably gravitating more negativity right so if you're gossiping up about one person i'm telling you that person's gonna gossip and, da, 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 and it's a so it's the same fucking thing so just change your perspective and change the things that you're choosing to think about and talk about and then hey your whole fucking world changes but it's trial and error okay so you're gonna have to believe you're gonna have to believe in yourself believe in a bigger picture believe that you do deserve love caring connections Okay, but you have to give that to yourself first. It says strange encounters. <laughs> once you once you manage to be glad, I promise you'll have all kinds of strange encounters. And the people that you do meet are going to be beneficial to your journey. You're going to appreciate the moments that you spend with them and however long that you were able to spend the time with them, okay? Because 
A lot of people are trying to keep up up. This is why somebody, like I said, they slept on you. They didn't want to give you the, you know, the credit where credit is due. They chose to not um, include you, isolate you, disrespect you, gang up on you, gang stalk you, manipulate you. All these nasty little things that these people in the background choose to do to people who they see as a threat. So clearly you were a threat to these people. And now the fact that you have source, God, creator, and the 10,000 ancestors behind you, they're having a hard time to keep up with your rankings because you're just leveling up. So every time they turn around to see where you're at, they can't find you because you're in another fucking place, like seriously. And it's not even, it's all metaphorically. So these people don't even really know what the fuck you're at spiritually. So if they're trying to send you shit, it's just like, they're a loss for motherfucking words. How the fuck do you do this? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> and they're really trying. Immense effort. A lot of people. Immense effort. And you're still advancing. You're still advancing. So never give up hope. Never give up faith. And always manage to be glad. And Sungwe the Zuga creator will open up doors that you never even knew possible as long as you're doing the work. Just keep doing the work. You might not see nothing right now. You might not see nothing today, in a week, in a couple months. But I promise you, you could change your life in six months. Your whole life could change in six months. Imagine what you could do in a year. Imagine what you could do in two, four. Continue to keep going, okay? Because you are rare and motherfucking free. This is what I'm saying, guys. Look. I get so excited. I'm so fucking passionate about you guys. I love you. <laughs> it says, there are not many like you. You have to remember that, okay? And that's why people are trying to catch up to you. Now, you could have lovers trying to catch up to you. You got friends trying to catch up to you. You could have ex-bosses and people that you've associated with trying to catch up with you. But they called you out. They, I mean, they called you off. They, they, they slept on you. They weren't there with you in the gym. And they were probably the ones who have blocked you the whole time. And this is why they're curious, sir, and motherfucking curious, sir. How the fuck are you managing? It says, discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. They're here, like so fucking intrigued with you. So fucking intrigued with you, bottom of the deck. It's such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality, and coming home. Like I said, somebody should have listened to their intuition and now with this full moon in pisces they are listening to their intuition and their intuition is saying find home solace within self all the answers are within you okay guys heart of the deck it's we're all mad here what the fuck did i say there's no fucking competition guys you just gotta find somebody just as mad as you to adore you and love you and spend the rest of your life with one person don't be fucking greedy everyone is a little different guys so you gotta find your different and love that somebody's very curious about you because you're such a curious motherfucking dream like people didn't believe that you were even real they thought that you were like like playing like you know playing but you ain't playing you ain't playing nobody and you're telling people you want to play in my face you're gonna fucking get told off and this is why you choose to ch fight your battles wisely. <laughs> and you choose to stay close off to people who you can tell are using you to the benefit of theirs without the betterment of the greater good. You can see how people are treating you, how people are reacting, and how people act. You take it upon yourself. Now that everybody is open and woke, to a point, everybody has an opportunity to change right now. Everybody has an opportunity to see the truth, and it's very desolate. That's why a lot of people are in a mental entrapment. They just got to go and get some pills, you know, and balance those hormones out. Because big things are coming in for everybody. Whether you're ready for it or not, guys, it's coming in. So get ready, okay, guys? I want to wish every single person the best. Every single person the best. But now you see hard to unsee and that's why a lot of people are having 911 calls because big things are happening and a lot of people are getting burnt by the truth 
the sun god Ra is really shining light that somebody lost you and because they lost you they feel very much up in their heads they're watching your dirty ass photos and they you that's why you are like they know it's over because they're continuously sending this nasty energy they miss your food like i said energy fucking vampire they miss the shit that you were feeding them so starve the narcissist then if they really truly care they will come and approach you they won't do some stupid shit in the background like in my readings okay you're a motherfucking monster. You're a machine. You're a goat. So don't ever, be don't be ever believe what people are saying about you. Believe who you are. You know who you are. You sleep with you every single day. So be proud of you. You deserve it. That's why people be missing all the fucking shit that you gave them before. I'm telling you. Spirit guides. But you also have to put down your guard, okay? So if you've always been like on guard because of situations that have transpired in the past, such as myself, you know, sometimes I am like, really? Like, are you really trying me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, or I know that somebody had just gotten out of a relationship and like is trying to text me, you know? Like, I feel some kind of way all the time. So we need to put down our guard. Not everybody is gonna do as what was done to us okay there's 10,000 there's uh 8 billion people in this world okay so 12 20 uh 21 12 sometimes we will find people who mirror us well actually every time they're always gonna mirror us so they're gonna mirror us the things we need to learn so the catalysts okay so karmics are lessons and then soul partners they're not like twin flames they're not supposed to be there forever at least not all the time some are best friends some are children some are just lessons okay guys and somebody's on the fucking dl and this is why you were like listen i don't even know who you are friend family acquaintance you could have had a best friend who fucking wanted to be on you you know what i mean so you got to be careful of the company you keep because there's a lot of spell work here because people are slacking. They don't want to do the fucking work. So they want to be in the background playing fucking games, being manipulative, being on the DL. So they're lying in your face the whole time. They want to take your place. They want to pretend to be supportive, but really they're not. They will not support you in public because of the fact of what they're saying in the background. You need to understand this. Because somebody's trying to end your love life. And how the fuck they're going to end your love life if your love life lies within yourself? Now, this Leo's getting fucked. You could be a Leo. Who knows? But somebody is not feeling very good because that Leo, that strength in reverse, is a Leo sign. So somebody's got their tail between their legs, like really distorted because they're looking for the external world's validations and bitch, they ain't getting it. Yeah. You're an earth angel. You deserve, to, you have the heart to uplift those around you. You deserve to shine. And this is the problem. They're mad and jealous because you naturally shine because your authenticity. And that's what brings blessings on blessings on blessings. Yo, heart of the deck. You're the motherfucking star. Gemini, twin. Boom. Soul ascension. Yo, that's amazing. But somebody's trying to control you because you're the motherfucking goat. Greatest of all time. So they, they slept on you. So that you wouldn't see your true value. But God was like, watch this. Bam. Self-made. Ha-ha. <laughs> Yo, I love my ancestors. What's on my lap? Message from a rabbit, yo. And it says, service to the animal world. Yo, you're a service to a lot of people. That's self-made. Source creator gave you that gift to use your gifts wisely in a different kind of way than everybody else has ever done. And this is authenticity. This is the truth. And this Leo knows it. You're self-made. You're the fucking go. <laughs> and that's motherfucking justice. So whoever wanted to fucking keep you trapped, distort your view, send you black magic, all that is being backfired. And they're getting caught up in, the, you know, in their own shit. So you have the heart to uplift those around you like an earth angel and you are doing just that. So let's get these... Sea Journey Oracle deck, the Sea Soul Journey, Sea Soul, <laughs> Sea Soul Journey Oracle deck, okay? So, spirit guides, look, I, I knew I felt something, but I thought it was a core. Sea Soul, okay, yeah, we got one flipping. It's reflect, okay? So, I may be time to reflect, okay? It says, may you discern 
and distill. Okay, so it's time to filter out the fucking shit that you thought was real. Time to pre-program your mind, guys. It's okay to think something yesterday, but get some information today and say I was wrong yesterday. Fuck, sometimes I'm wrong all the time. But I have to admit it so that this way I can learn. I don't know everything. Shit. <laughs> I don't know anything sometimes. like, And that's when we have to realize that we're enough. Just the way we fucking are. We're enough. It says, may you be exactly as you are. It's okay. Whatever you are, whoever you are, you are enough. And you have to reflect on that. And the ancestors are holding you tight. And somebody really wants to hold you tight, but then there's like this energy of like fucking, a lot of people trying to stop your love life. It says, may you feel the ocean's caress. Like seriously, the ocean is just brushing over you, purifying you so that you can reflect and see that you are enough and you are definitely loved. So every time you feel so sad, just imagine the, the, the ancestors or the angels just giving you this warm fucking white hug, okay? Like this light hug. You can make it through anything, guys. And a lot of people know this about you. And that's what intimidates them. And that's why they slept on you. So that this way you wouldn't know how powerful and beautiful you really are. You would listen only to the monkey mind of what they said to you. But it's time to put all of that to ease. Okay, it says, may it, may it be effortless. Remember, if it's made for you, it's going to be so fucking easy. It's going to flow. It's going to be fluid. It's going to, you're not going to feel stuck. It's going to be, you know, constant. And it's going to be of your greatest good. Because you're not going to feel trapped. You're not going to feel used. You're not going to feel like it's too much. It's just going to feel, oh, oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it says may you see the sublime in the everyday see and then every day you wake up and you're just like this is my life good or bad up or down it's my life and I chose this life I may not have everything I may not have the people I want but I know that this is my life and I chose it and I appreciate it and the respect that the ancestors give me because it says ease may it be effortless you know that life is supposed to be effortless it's not supposed to survive i'll be on survival mode and this is why you live such an easy life such a soft life because you have went through so much so you know that you aren't you aren't dealing with this so it does it intimidates people but it says i don't want to lose you so these people don't want to lose you it's the four pentacles so they're holding on to you they want you to make a decision, okay? They want... Somebody needs to fucking let go of this outdated belief system or this family or this religious thing that they got going on in their head. Like I said, it's that patriotic system. They do not want women to be up or to be the same. But somebody wants to reach out. I just, I just want you all the time they want to reach out they want to tell you they were sorry for not seeing you and your value and for not treating you as valuable whether you know this person or not they've been in the background and they they want to apologize for just being in the background it says there is someone else this is why they've been in the background this is why they want to apologize that they've just been watching, there was somebody else, and that's why they're watching, they want to apologize, but now they just want you. Somebody needs to do some healing, guys, they can't go from one person to another person to another person, because all you're doing is bleeding, but like I said earlier, you know, I myself have to change my perspective as well, because who knows, that person can be great for me, may not be good for that person, but it could be good for me, you see what I mean? So... We have to put on our guards and, and, you know, not judge somebody for what has transpired in the past, but how they treat you in the moment. 
It's all about the moment, guys. And you have to pay attention and use your discernment. And it says you are my everything. You are somebody's everything. The Ten of Cups. You are somebody's everything. And so, well, I mean, I'm telling you, you don't know who this fuck this person is. So it's going to kind of put you off guard. It's going to be like shocking to you. Like, this is how you feel? Yeah, I didn't think he felt like this. And it says, I am addicted to you. And it says, I think we should see other people. So somebody was addicted to you. So they seen other people because they didn't have to face the hurt, the pain. You know, when you care about a person, they have the opportunity to hurt you, right? So this person didn't want that. They wanted somebody that they didn't care about so that this way it didn't matter if they were going to lose them or not. Now, I understand that because after my ex-fiance, I was with somebody, my, a, a rebound, you know, and I wasn't with them for anything else, like, other than just, like, their car. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. He was just around and he wouldn't leave. So eventually, like, I did. I had sex with him. <laughs> but that motherfucker ended up addicted. That's why I don't do that um anymore because i don't feel like going around hurting people like because i don't i'm i'm not emotionally available do you see what i'm saying i was not emotionally available not at all and i didn't like him it was just something to do <laughs> so i learned don't do that so it's been about like a year and a couple months since that situation you know what i mean so now it's like we have to put down our guards. There is 8 billion people in this world, you know? But there's a lot of people addicted to you, and this is why they chose other people, 3131, so that this way they can get over you. But at the same time, like, it was like as if you were too good for them. But they put you down. They slept on you so that this way you, wouldn't, you would believe them. But the whole time you were too good for them, so they went with something that was a lot easier and wouldn't make them feel insecure. Only because they knew they weren't doing their job properly. I am very jealous. Oh my fucking God. Look, okay. Ancestors, I'm telling you, I am lit. When it comes out my motherfucking mouth, the channel, in my motherfucking hand. They were a very jealous person. And they didn't trust you because they didn't trust themselves. And it, it, cle it, it, it that's clear with the choices that they chose to make once you left their life. Bottom of the deck, I am terrified. Yeah, somebody is terrified of these big no changes. Because like I said, now they see the truth. Listen, and somebody needs to listen to their heart. And that's what's terrifying them. That they need to listen to their heart. That they need to go towards their heart. They've... They're, they've never, ever done what they're about to do. In the heart of the deck, it doesn't want to show me, but I'm going to check anyways. It says, now is not the time. I hope you'll wait for me. Don't wait for anybody. Live your life. Do what you need to do. If I follow you, I could lose everything. See, somebody is just... They just want to play in your fucking energy, have you waiting for them to keep playing games with somebody else, and like, yo, fuck that shit, seriously, like, if somebody really cares, well then, you know, and I understand they're gonna, you, you truly do have to take some time from one relationship to another, but if you've been waiting for somebody, like, why, why are you waiting for them? Don't, don't go from one other person to another, but live your life, okay? Because at the end of the day, it says, I need more time. And it says, I left because you told me to. So somebody left you because you told them to. And now they're asking for more time so that this way they can get their life back together from whatever situation that has transpired since you left them, which is good. Oh my God, that song is in my head now. I can be your hero, baby. Somebody wants to come in and, you know, sweep you off your feet, give you everything that you should have ever had. And it says, I dream about you a lot too much. So if you've seen the reading this afternoon, you've seen that somebody was like, 
doing some crazy things with you <laughs> in their mind. And it says you have so many choices and options. Somebody doesn't realize that you could have fucking a thousand people on your fucking ass, you know, trying to get with you. And you're not going to pick any of them. Not a single one. And that's only because they're not at your level. They're, you know, it's all about the mind. You want that uh, <laughs> feeling, you know, like the Simpsons <laughs> kind of energy, you know. Oh, my God, look at my hair. That's what the kind of energy you want. The kind that, like, fucks up your hair and you're like, yes. Like, you're just like, wow, it's, you know, singing and sweeping and doing your own fucking thing. And oh, you want that kind of love. The genuine kind. The one that doesn't ask for anything, but gets everything. You see what I'm saying? And then it says, I am, I am coming. Trust. So you just got to trust that whatever's coming towards you is meant for you. Pay attention, use your discernment. It says, listen to your fucking heart, bottom of the deck. It's time to listen to your heart, guys, okay? So let's get the affirmation for your beautiful collective, and then I'll get into um, the St. Francis Oracle deck, okay? So the affirmation is creation. It's time to tap into that solar plex chakra. You know, understand that all your creations lie within yourself, especially if you're a divine feminine, you know? Our main thing is to create, to nurture, to understand put ourselves in another person's foot. One way or another, we've been burnt by the truth when we first woke up and it hurt. So imagine how this person is feeling, whether you know this person or not, okay? You know what this feels like, this dark night of the soul to be in a mental entrapment because you can't go towards the things you want because you're still stuck in a prison of the mind somewhere else. Creation. In order to manifest the life that you want, you have to put intentions. And you have to be right with those intentions, not for the, for just the benefit of you, but for the benefit of the greatest good of all. And inevitably, that's exactly what's going to come in. Creation. I have the power to direct my life with the constructive attitude. I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer world by turning every thought into a Affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. You are a master of your own life. And that does intimidate people. And somebody really seen that you were this and they were so fucking scared that you were going to tap into this. So they did whatever they could to put you down. But guess what? You're tapping into their creation and your vitality is so good. Look, it says, I am a being of light. I accept the divine energy of my body and every one of my cells rejuvenates. You're a fucking master healer. You could be an energy healer. You... Fuck, you are just lit. So trust that, you know, what's for you is coming in. Trust that what you want to manifest is coming in. You cannot manifest a particular person, but you can manifest an idea. You can put your best foot forward and hope that that comes in or that you have the opportunity to take that, you know, make healthy risks. Like I said earlier, as long as you're not jeopardizing yourself or stepping on another person, you're not selling out. Well, these cards keep popping out, but there's like two of them every time. I just want one spirit guide. Then you'll be okay. Now, the money and all that stuff, it's not going to come fast, but your rankings are going to be very high. And that's what's fucking a lot of people up is your rankings, number 11, because you're mirroring a lot of people with your beautiful white light. I'm telling you, you're walking around like motherfucking angel around here. Like, people are like, are you even real? How are you real? Every time you go out, you're like, you got like people staring at you and it, it can get very uncomfortable, but yo, it is what it is. This is why somebody wanted to make you feel like you weren't good enough because they were insecure with you, around you. Instead of being proud of you because they had you, they were in competition with you and inevitably choosing a lesser of a person to be with so that this way they can cater to their ego. They could feel validated. Oh, ho, ho, they're suffering now because you're the motherfucking autumn bride, guys. In the autumn, it's harvest time. Okay? Beauty, healing, and kindness. 
There is a beautiful flow of energy around you. Your energy is high and people around you can sense and feel the glow exuberating from your aura. Your positive energy is rubbing off on others, though be aware of psychic vampires. Didn't I fucking say that? <sighs> Those who drain your energy when they see your light shining brightly. If you feel you are in need of healing, this card suggests that you reconnect with nature, feel the grass on your feet, the air on your face, and do something which will help you to rejuvenate. This is an excellent time to tap into your inner thoughts. Your mind is calm and receptive. There are times when we need to step out of the rat race and be kind to ourselves. This time is now. So somebody needs to just take the time and understand that there was a lot of fucking people jealous. Somebody was jealous. They were addicted to you, so they didn't want anybody else to see you for who you were, valuable and shit. So they'd say a stupid shit, so then people wouldn't see how valuable you are. It's very childish, okay? So let's get the heart messages, because somebody is about to reach out, and you're going to be like, wow, like, where the fuck did you come from? Kind of energy. You know, like, or you don't even know this person. Like I said, it's going to be very, very abrupt. Spare the moment spontaneous this person not really thinking secret admirer i'm telling you i am lit when it's the download comes in my motherfucking hand this secret admirer sees that you got the motherfucking power and the power lies within you look at this hey, hey babe how was work uh the, this guy, uh, dropped me off. oh good and she bought me uh the ninjas. oh beast yeah. so look at this the kundalini awakening is what that is, okay? So, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on, and then power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no and walk away. Like I said, this person knows that you have the power, that you're just wanting, oh, <laughs> And that's why you're up for forgiveness, okay? It says, may you let it be. It's time to let it fucking be, guys. I have work Wednesday and maybe Friday. Okay. So when do you have football? Tuesday and Thursday and Wednesday I don't have practice only because of something. Okay. And then Friday game is canceled so September 15th. Okay. I love you. Oh, <laughs> that's what you're like, oh, <laughs> that's all you want is, oh, so trust whatever's for you is coming out because somebody's reaching out, whether this is for a job, a relationship, family, somebody just is watching you and is enlightened by you and is wanting to bring you in some new things, get a motherfucking sexual union going on, a gee, and it says, honor the place in one another where you are one essential soul, for there you will find true bliss. <laughs> I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity. Let me dig into these um, yin yang decks since it's looking right at me. What's the yin yang deck? What do they want to say, spirit guides? What's going on here with the yin yang deck? <sighs> Venus. You're fucking Venus. You're getting this love offer in, guys. So, somebody wants to bring you your flowers, they see you as a beautiful flower, they want you to nurture, you know, and need some fertilizer. Somebody wants to come and fertilize you. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, my fucking, fucking mind just went way in the gutter. <laughs> Epiphany, baby, somebody just got a fucking breakthrough. Whoo, I'm hot, it's hot, <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> Let me take off all your coat, I'm serious, man. I am getting too hot. <laughs> I want to take my clothes off. That's what they're... Holy, look. The channeling is on fleek tonight. Yo, it's time for self-love, right? It's time to tap into that creation. I told you that solar plex chakra. And use your intuition. Tap into your intuition. Heart of the deck because you're the alchemist. So you're transmuting the darkness, showing other people how to do it and not to hurt people in the process. There's enough for everybody, guys. You don't have to hurt somebody to get things, okay? You just have to trust the divine timing. Trust that because you're a good-hearted person, it always comes in because the ancestors got your fucking back. And somebody wants to start a family with you, okay? So a major commitment coming in, so this could help to build your family. So this could be a job opportunity, okay? This could be 
a family member coming in to help you. This could be a lover coming in to start a relationship with you. This could be a baby daddy wanting to help you, a baby mama wanting to help their children. Do you see what I'm saying? Who knows what this is? It could be a lot of things, but it's a commitment. And it talks about family and home. So it's about balancing things out. Could be a fire sign. Leo Aries Sag wanting to start this relationship with you and feeling a lot of regret because of the repressed emotions and because they took so long to to come and talk about something okay so jesus fucking christ you're the divine feminine okay and they want their divine feminine somebody really is like <laughs> it's fucking in my energy like i'm flipping out right now because i feel them a lot of this harmony look i just said this fuck every time this harmony look they're fucking being triggered there's a lot of conflict in whatever situation that they're with because you are the divine feminine because <laughs> somebody is taking action jupiter is all about expansion they're taking somebody is being very courageous to start some kind of new beginning some kind of message which you fuck they see you as venus the goddess of love and they want to celebrate with you there's a lot of people wanting to celebrate with you Put down your motherfucking guard, okay, guys? Because abundance is coming in, and abundance looks like a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But it's time to release, surrender, and purge all that motherfucking old. Remember, whatever happened in the past happened in the past. There's 8 billion people in this world. And whatever comes in is going to be just for you. So don't regret the past. Not at all. They're learning lessons, okay? It's time to tap into that celebration and abundance. Transform. Remember, wherever you are, wherever. Be. Find a solution because somebody is really in regret because they didn't stay in the moment and they didn't treat you with value. Self-care energy, guys. I'm serious. You really transmuted that energy. No matter how many people slammed the door in your face or said no or, you know, it's fine because ancestors got your back. And now look at you. You're shining bright like a fucking candle and celebrating. So somebody just needs to understand that you have assistance. You are who you are, guys. You, you're not doing this by yourself. So you could be like me. You could be a channeler. And somebody wants to come towards you because they know. They know. Somebody's trying to make you flip this fucking, uh, this opportunity all over the place. Like you're going to fucking stumble or, you know, fuck up. But no, you're like, I'm going to catch it. <laughs> you're like, watch, I'm going to catch it, man. I'm a fucking clown. Like, Hayoki Empath. Yo, you're just like, I catch it. You're going towards growth and expansion, guys. So that this way you can build a new life for your family, build a family, build a stability, whatever it is, it's coming in, whatever you want, it's coming in. And remember, if you manifest something, you want something big, it takes a little bit more time, right? A little bit more effort. And somebody feels very guilty for trying to sabotage you because now, you know, in the background, you see these very, very dark energies for what it is. And this is why you choose not to work with them because you know better. You know better. You want, oh, <laughs> I love you guys. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity. Okay, remember the spider web. You could be sending some dark shit, the hatred, the slander, you know, the gossip and all that nasty shit, or you can send the good stuff, which is the love, the understanding, the no sugar coating bullshit, and inevitably changing people, you know? Because there's a lot of people they're putting they want swords in your back. And this is why you have to be intelligent. Use your intuition in under this moon. This is why people are seeing and they're like fuck what the fuck see when you dig yourself a fucking grave you dig it deeper and deeper and deeper it is very hard to dig yourself out of it but it is more than possible so just tap into that solar plex chakra okay because when we're living in the lower lower area of chakras you know the sex and the 3d the 3d realm okay the lower chakras then inevitably you don't feel one with yourself but when you raise the vibrations of the higher chakras and you live in the higher vibrations of oneness of safety of truth of independence of knowing who you are of being the same as a god the same as god because it's christ consciousness knowing that you are you it, it it's it's narcissistic to believe that you are anything other than a god, that you are anything other different than the god. Do you see what I mean? Because each and every one of us is God. It's not an ego thing. It's more of a connected thing. We are the god of our own lives. We choose. But some of us want to blame everybody else for our choices so that this way we can't 
we can't take accountability. We won't take accountability and we can just go around living this, you know, matrix kind of life. But when you wake up, holy fuck, it's really hard to go back to sleep. And that's why I felt that triggering. And it's all because you're the divine feminine. So you got a lot of people fighting in the background and you might not even know this. A lot of people fighting. Hey, one second. He just wants to talk to me. <laughs> I love my boy. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. But like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of disharmony in the background only because you are in your motherfucking power. <laughs> Male or female, it's irrelevant. You're in your power. I love you guys. I hope this helped. This is looking at me in the face, okay? It's the Knight of Pentacles. You got in the position that you're in because you were very patient with yourself and you give yourself grace to make mistakes knowing that we're not perfect. We're going to fall in our face, but it's about being trustworthy, understanding, devoted to your craft, devoted to your people, devoted to your children, devoted to yourself. And you're really funny about it. Like I said, you're a motherfucking clown and you don't care. You don't care. And the people that are around you, because they love you. It says, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan and being watched over by somebody kind. I'm telling you, you have a secret admirer that's coming in and you're going to be just blown away by the fact of this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to blind you. You're just going to be like, whoa, wait, what? And you're going to give it an opportunity. You're going to... You're gonna give it an opportunity. Let's see, yeah, because look, it's gonna give you an, it's gonna give you a blank new slate. Fuck yeah, try it out. You deserve this. You are patient. <laughs> I hope this helped, guys. I'm doing my little happy dance for you. <laughs> I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you some clarity. Please do not wait for somebody if they've been treating you bad. Don't wait for them. Live your life, okay? I promise you, the right people will come in and show you the love and support that you truly desire. But and we have to do that for ourselves first, okay? And that's why I say don't wait for somebody because the more you wait, the sadder you may get. You want a new opportunity. Sometimes we just have to be patient. Wait for the right one, okay? Stay blessed if you want a more personal reading as these are timeless, general, and collective and may or may not resonate. I'll put all my information in the description bar below and I'll also put my PayPal there. So in case you wanna, you're feeling generous and you want to donate, okay? Also, um... Check out my last reading, okay? It was pretty intense. Bye, guys. Stay blessed. One love.